guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. So today I did this makeup look. Uh, I've worn this look a couple times and it is like seriously one of my favorites. I love the purple with my pink hair. I don't know. I just love it. This is my first voiceover. So if it's awful, like, please forgive me. This is my first one. I just really felt like listening to music today. But before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. But otherwise, let's just get started. All right, so we're going to first start out with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just rub that all over my eyes. I'm going to use a e.l.f. brush just to set the primer using the Cody Airspun in Translucent. And dipping into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to use the third shade called Silk Cream with an Morphe M441 and just use windshield wiper motions just to get in the crease of my eye and use as a transition color. And then I'm going to use a smaller brush. It's an M433 in the shade Butter and go more into the crease just to deepen it a little bit. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Buns with the same brush in M433 just to deepen that even more, just to define my crease. Next, I'm going in with an e.l.f. shader brush in the shade Royalty sprayed with the Mario Bettisco Rose Water Spray. You can really use any setting spray just to intensify any kind of metallic shadow. I'm putting this color just all over my entire lid. Next, I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer with a Wet n Wild Synthetic Concealer Brush and putting that all over where I put the purple. It's gonna help the next product stick on my eye a lot more. I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow in Goth Tears from the Gothographic Collection. I love this color so much because it kinda has a duochrome to it. It's blue and purple. So you can really make whichever color you want in that eyeshadow pop depending on what color you put underneath it. And I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm doing one eye at a time because they dry a little fast. Next I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in shade Frog. This is such a beautiful color. It is more like a topper and it's best used with just your finger and patting it on top. It doesn't really add any color. It just adds a little more glitter which I always love. I can never have too much glitter. Next, I'm going in with the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Black. This is my favorite eyeliner. It sometimes can be a little difficult to do a wing though. That is what I'm gonna try to attempt here. I did speed it up a little bit because it does take quite a long time and I'd rather you guys not be sitting around watching me try to attempt a wing. I end up using this e.l.f. makeup remover pen to just kind of help clean it up. One of the primers I'm using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer. It helps keep me matte and smooth all day. I also like using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer right on the sides of my nose where I have the most pores. Next, I use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the lightest shade that they have. I've been seeing a lot of beauty influencers use this foundation lately, and I figured since I have it, I would throw it in this video. It really bums me out that this is the lightest shade that they have. I feel like they could definitely have some lighter shades. 
I end up adding some white foundation that I got from LA Girl just to lighten it up since they don't have a shade light enough for me. The coverage in both of these foundations is really nice. So it gives me a little bit more coverage, which I love full coverage all the way. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk sponge. This is such a great sponge. It's larger than like a normal sponge that I've used. And they're fairly inexpensive. I want to say they're like, you can get two for like $10. I need to add a little more coverage by my chin just because I have a lot of breakouts right there right now. So I just need to add a little more foundation to cover them up. Next, we go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. And I like putting this under my eyes just a little bit and then on the rest of my face. Well, not the rest of my face, but like the parts I want to highlight. and then blending out a little bit more under my eyes before I blend it with the sponge. I'm using, this is the Beauty Blender, like the actual Beauty Blender brand. I don't know why I feel like I need to say that, but it's um, the pink marble one and it's like hella dirty. putting more concealer around my nose because I always tend to have my foundation up right there. I'm using more of the Cody Airspun in Translucent just to set the makeup under my eyes. I'm using one of those mini sponges. I think it's from the Ulta Beauty brand. Making sure that I don't have any creases under my eyes before I set it. So that's why I'm using the Beauty Blender before that black sponge. Now I'm going to use the bottom of my Beauty Blender to add more powder to my face. I'm going to add an obscene amount of powder on my face to start baking the smile lines on my face, under my eyes, and on the sides of my nose. And I think a little bit on my forehead. Now we get to wait. So the powder's really messy, so I make sure to clean all that off. Next, we're gonna move on to eyebrows. And this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. I also got this in a boxy charm, And I like using this just in the front of my brows because it is a little bit lighter and I don't feel like it's dark enough for my entire brow. So I just use it in the front. Next, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde with an e.l.f. eyebrow brush. And I like to make sure I get a really fine point because I like using this on the tail end of my brow and then blending it into the middle part. So it's kind of like an ombre effect. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape with a different Wet n Wild concealer brush to help clean up my brows. using my finger to blend it out. I'm gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow in Blonde just in the front part of my brow because there's no like pomade there, so it just sets that. This is just a crown powder brush that I'm using to brush away all that powder from baking and using it to set the rest of my face. Next, I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula in Light Bronzer. And I'm using a crown brush. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I got this in an Ipsy, I believe, like a long time ago. This is my favorite bronzer brush. I don't really know why, but I just like using it on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, and under my chin on my neck.
Next, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna be using the two lightest shades in the contour shades. And I'm gonna be mixing them both using this Precision, or I don't know, Elf Precise Contour Brush. Dipping them both into those shades and then tapping off the excess and then chiseling out some cheekbones. I also go a little bit on the sides of my nose. I don't want to go too heavy, so I use the excess of what's left on the brush and under my lip. And then a little bit to just frame my face and my hairline around my forehead. If you've seen my video on how to conceal your double chin, that's basically what I'm doing right now. Next, I'm going in with this crown brush that I got in a set of three in the lightest, lightest shade that they have in the light palette, just to put under my eyes. I don't really like to use banana powders under my eyes since I'm so fair, but if you are deeper in complexion, it's a lot easier to use banana powder instead. Back in with the Cody Airspun using a Morphe contour sponge. Sorry to put a close up of that. But it's just a sponge that has a very sharp edge on the end to that's really good for basically what I'm doing right now, which is carving out the cheekbones. And I'm just, I guess, kind of baking again under my contour line and then a little bit more under my eyes because I did notice that there was a little bit of concealer missing. And so I'm trying to help remedy that. Moving on to the lower lash line, we're going in with the shade Butter with the small blending brush and then using an M432 with the shade Buns to get close to the lower lash line. Brushing away all that excess powder with a Luxie brush. Going out with the LA Girl Just Blushing in shade Just Playful using this Sonia Kashuk blush brush. This is from her new collection, I'm in love. Next, we're going in with a Morphe R36 brush, which is a great highlighter brush and using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in White Raven, which is also from the Gothographic collection. This has kind of like a purple um, shift to it and it kind of plays off really well with the eyeshadow. I really just like applying this highlighter to the highest points of my face. Next, I grab this Illuminator brush. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this. I got it in an Ipsy about a year or so ago. And I just concentrate the highlighter a little more on my cheeks using that brush. Next, I go in with this Luxie 207 angle brush using that same highlighter just to put in the inner corners to bring the look all together. Brushing away the rest of that powder with that Luxie 660 brush. We're gonna go ahead and set with some setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Setting Spray. I like to do this before mascara. Next, we're gonna tackle some lashes. I'm using the Revlon Eyelash Curler and I leave it there for about 10 seconds and then use the Essence Lash Princess, the purple one, I believe is called the Sculpted Volume, just on the top lashes. And I only do one coat since I'm basically just making them the same color as the lashes I'm about to put. And I use the Kiss Lashes in the shade Flirty with the Kiss Couture Lash Glue. This is the new one. And I use this applicator that I actually got on Amazon. I got a set of three, I think it wasn't too expensive, but they have really helped me apply my lashes. I like to place them kind of in the middle of my lash to make sure that I have the position right and then attach the inner corner and then the outer corner. After I have it in place, I like to clamp my real lashes and the false lashes together and then push it up. Look at that difference between lashes and not lashes. Next, I'm going in with this Tarte Mascara. I like this mascara just because it has one of those spiky wands, so it spreads out my lashes instead of clumping them together. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade Blushing Nude. And I like lining my entire lip, not just the outline with the lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken, which I believe this is a dupe for the Kat Von D Lolita, which is, I think, why I bought this. But I really like this shade just because it's kind of a cooler tone nude, which goes with the rest of my look. And yay, I got it on my teeth. Story of my life. For whatever reason, I am really struggling with making sure that all of my lipstick is even. So sorry, this is taking forever, but you know, I can't have messed up lipstick. So as you saw from the beginning of the video, this is the look I ended up with today. Um, went through some struggles. Especially with this lip. I just can never like get my lips done right. But anyway, uh, if you did like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that button right down below. And if there's any other ideas that you guys have that you would want me to do a video on, go ahead and leave comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!